All right, Pat. Well, I got to ask you about the state of your Sabres, as sad as it may be. Captain Jack Eichel um, has got an upper body injury, had a lower body injury. There's trade talk last week. What do you like or what do you not like about all of these stories coming about your captain? I mean, look, it was pretty obvious he was hurt watching the way that he was playing, right? He didn't have the burst that he had. His hands weren't working the way that they were. And the fact that, you know, Wednesday night, excuse me, Tuesday night when they play the Flyers, the first game without him, that top line with a rookie Dylan Cousins centering it is responsible for three goals in the first period when they hadn't scored on Philly in the two games previous they had played. Here's what I'm hoping. I know he's not going to be traded this season. It's not going to happen to the trade deadline. There's too many complications with salary cap stuff. I hope by the time this season is over, if there is a new coach in place, if you have an idea of who's going to be here next year, the trade talk quiets down. Because, again, it's not worth trading him. You're going to get pennies on the dollar, especially right now. And all the other GMs, Kevin, you can attest to this, have to be looking at the Sabres situation and licking their chops as far as what they can get over on a rookie general manager in Kevin Adams. Very true. And it's, it's, it, Kevin Adams has decisions to make. What do I do? I, you know, the previous regime had a plan in place for a succession with the coach that blew up when, you know, the new GM came in. Do they, what difference does it make right now to change coaches? Do you want to pay a guy 4 million next year to do nothing? They're pretty good at that. They paid a general manager and they still are paying a general manager to do nothing for them. So they're pretty used to paying people for not working for them, but the season's lost. It's gone. So I'm not sure what a coaching change really would do other than appease a, a, a few, a few fans, maybe a lot of fans. And I don't know, maybe start to change the direction of whatever that team is on, but I, you know, it's a it's a hopeless case again, and it's so sad that for ten years they have just been idling in place or going backwards. Mm-hmm.